Happy New Year everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori for those of you guys who are new here. Today's video I'm going to show you guys what I got for Christmas. So it's been a couple of weeks since Christmas now, maybe three by the time I post this video, we'll see. I had a wonderful time over Christmas this year. This is actually my first Christmas away from home. I spent it with my boyfriend and his family, I made a secret Santa regular gifts and so i was just gonna show you guys kind of what i got uh, i got some lovely gifts from my boyfriend and from both of our families so i'm just gonna share that with you guys today so let's get to it okay so i'm gonna do a lot of things at one time today i usually do kind of video separately but it's gonna be a little bit of an unboxing and styling video today so make sure you stay to the end. And if you enjoy what you see here today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. So let's get, like I said, let's get right to it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is, so this is the Marc Jacob tote bag. I think this is the small or the medium. I can't remember what this is called. It's definitely not the mini, but it's the one that's like in between. I think it's a medium, but I can't remember if this is called a medium or a small. I'll make sure I'll put that um on the screen here and in the description box below of course so my boyfriend this is one of the gifts that he got me this is the leather one in black the tote bag so i am so obsessed with this i've been looking at this bag for a minute now he saw me watching youtube videos of this bag i was kind of shocked but he did get this for me so i was super grateful for that so i'm gonna do a quick sort of not really unboxing because it didn't actually come in a box um, but there's some uh, just first impressions of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off some of this packaging um, that we have on the bag. But first, just quick overview. So it's this like uh, leather here. It's called the Tote Bag by Marc Jacobs. It's very simple. Um, so I'm really going to be using this a lot when I'm traveling. I can't wait to use it on trips. We definitely have a couple coming up here soon. Be sure to check out those vlogs because I will definitely be doing that. But on the back here, it just says the Marc Jacobs style tote bag location in New York City year 1984. And it's just kind of uh, embossed uh, print here on the bag itself. And then on the top, we have a zipper. So I really like tote bags. They've been very popular, you know. The Neverfull is a very popular one. I personally don't like that because it doesn't have the zipper in it. You can get the inserts and the bag organizers that have the zipper but i prefer this one because it already comes with it so i think that's really awesome so i'm gonna start taking off some of the packaging and getting a closer look at this bag so let's see so yeah this, really quickly this is just some like styrofoam kind of wrapping that they have around the handle so it's gonna take that off and then this is actually this piece here is a part of the zipper and there's this magnetic clasp, which I'll show you guys some more once I unwrap these. All right, so this is the top of the bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and unzip it. Um, but quickly before I forget, so this, like I said, this little piece here and this strap here is actually magnetic. So it just kind of holds on to itself right here, which is really nice. So that piece isn't really flapping around a lot. So that's very convenient. Although I wish it was on the inside instead of the outside, to be fair. I don't know. And this bag, it does come with a shoulder strap, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap that too. Okay, so now that I've taken the wrapping off of the straps, this is what the class look like here. So just your standard kind of um, crab claw class, or lobster class, lobster class, that's a crab claw. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and hook those onto the D-rings on either side of the bag. And those are, it's like slightly on the inside, kind of on the outside. And this strap is adjustable, uh, which is awesome. That's always really nice when you get a shoulder strap. So you can see here, it's got a few different holes for you to put, um, I think it's about five actually, if you start from the top. About five different holes that you can use to adjust the length of the strap. And of course, I'll get up in a little bit and show you guys what the bag looks like and where it kind of falls on me. And so on the inside of the bag here, we have, I think this is a dust bag. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, this is a cute little dust bag that comes with it. So it says uh, the Marc Jacobs. It's really nice, actually. It's pretty thick material. Got these two drawstrings here. So that's fantastic. So I'll put that to the side. Or let it 
chop. <laughs> uh, and then we have a lot of stuffing here, a lot of paper, so I'll just go ahead and take that out. Okay. All right, so this is what you see on the inside of the bag. So there is this pouch that has two pockets and a zipper, which is really great. Um, and it's very spacious too. It looks like I can hold quite a lot of stuff in here. Definitely my phone, maybe some keys and a few other things that I wouldn't want to get kind of lost around in the bottom of the bag. And there's a tag here on the front that says the Mark Jacobs again. And then there is this little card that comes on the inside of the bag that just tells you about the material. So this is 100% cow leather. It's a naturally tanned leather and a delicate product. And it is subject to color transfer. I guess that's for the lighter colored leathers though. Since this is black, I don't think there's any um, concern with that. And that's really why I went with the black one too. Like whenever I'm traveling at the airport, I don't know about y'all, but I tend to wear a lot of black. I'm just trying to get in and out, right? I'm trying to be comfortable. I usually wear like leggings and stuff or a coat um, and a hat. And I always end up wearing a lot of black. So I thought this would be perfect for the use of this bag. Yep, and let me know if you guys want a more detailed review of this bag. I'm trying to make this quick since I'm going through everything that I did get for Christmas this year. But yeah, I love it off first impression. So it kind of fits in the crook of my arm. It can fit on my shoulder, but it's a little bit tight to be honest. So I'll probably be using the shoulder strap quite a lot. Um, and I'm also thinking about getting um, an act a different shoulder strap for this bag. So I'll put a couple pictures up here of the ones that I'm thinking about getting off the Marc Jacobs site. Um, so that'd be really cute when I'm traveling as well. All right guys, so the next thing that I got for Christmas this year was these Nike Dunks. Oh my goodness. So I've been looking at the black and whites or the pandas, really the black and whites because the black and whites have the black interior on the inside. The pandas I think have the white interior, I think. And it's very subtle, but I like the way the black looks on the inside better. So my boyfriend got me these black and white Nike Dunks for Christmas. Super excited about that. So I wear a size seven and a half, which equates to a six in men's or kids, I guess, technically big kids. It's very interesting because I really feel like I can wear either a seven and a half or an eight. It just depends on the day. Um, I have the Nike Dunk High Aluminums as well, and those are a size eight. And then my Jordan ones are like a seven and a half if they're in women's or an eight if they're which is equates to a six and a half if they're in big kids or men's. I don't know, it's weird. I pretty much just flip between seven and a half and eight, depending on the day. But let's just quickly go through, and I'm gonna show you these shoes here, guys. So, of course, getting them from Grow, they go through the authentication process. I talked about that in a previous video. I'll link that below if you're interested to see more about that. And this is what they look like, guys. They are so cute, and it's gonna go perfectly with my Marc Jacobs bag, especially when I'm traveling or just on the go somewhere running some errands or if I wanna dress it up. I wear a lot of black, I have a lot of black in my closet. I'm wearing black right now. I think I've mentioned this before. So these shoes are honestly perfect and I love wearing white as well. So I have a lot of black and white in my wardrobe. So these were pretty much a no brainer. I didn't think he was actually gonna get me these for Christmas, but he did, cause he's crazy, but I, he loves me and I love him so much. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a styling at the end of this video, guys, with the bag and these shoes and just a couple of fits just to give you guys some looks. All right, guys, so the next thing is, can you guys, let's end this bag. So this is, let's say it was a brand, hard to see, Tom Ford. I saw this bag when it pulled out, I said, what is that? I didn't know what to expect. When I opened it up, okay, so I've been looking at this perfume for the longest time, for like months I've been thinking about getting this perfume. So I was very excited when I was under the tree with my name on it. So this is, this is, let me just lean it up without, there we go. This is Tom Ford Lost Cherry Perfume, guys. So this comes with the travel spray and the Eau Parfum. Um, the travel spray is 0.34 fluid ounces and the Eau de Parfum is 1.7. Y'all, this, I'm not really like a fruity kind of smell, fruity perfume kind of girl. Uh, I've seen, I've shown you guys other perfumes that I wear when I do my what's in my bag videos, like the YSL Opium and then my um, Gucci Flora. But y'all, this, it smells so good. It smells like, 
it does of course smell like cherry but it also smells very like high well of course high end is tom ford like uh, like i'm going out to a nice dinner kind of situation but with like a hint of that fruit so it's perfect oh i love it so much i have been trying to use this sparingly because it is not cheap <laughs> and then like i mentioned it does come with this travel size one here as well where's the front so this travel size one here which is really great and i love this one because the top is magnetic so that's really really cool okay and then the last things i'm going to show you here guys are some items that i got from my secret santa and both of our families um, my boyfriend's family and then my family so first things first oh my goodness so i have an ipad ipad like sixth generation i've had it for a few years now i have a pencil too but i've always had to hold the pencil separately i never thought for to to get a case that had a pencil holder, but now I do, which is really amazing. So it has this little pencil holder slot in it right here. Um, so this was, and it's magnetic. So it's really, really awesome. So I can be super productive and hold it up like this, or like that, if I'm like watching Netflix or something on it. So I absolutely love this. Got this from my secret Santa, thank you. That would be, so my boyfriend's brother actually was my secret Santa, so that was awesome. And then also, I'm a Zara girl. If y'all read the description boxes of my videos where I'm doing my styling, a lot of them have Zara. <laughs> a lot of clothes are from Zara for sure. And so on par, very on brand for me, they got me some Zara gift cards, which is really amazing. So I will be balling out on these. So when springtime rolls around, and it's time to update my closet i'm definitely going to be using those and then my family got me and my boyfriend some money for christmas which is always great we're going to be using that for our date nights and towards traveling that we have coming up soon so like i said be sure to check out those vlogs that i have coming out here in the next few weeks all right guys so that is all of the gifts that i got the next thing you're going to be seeing here is me doing some stylings uh, with this bag and the shoes that i showed you here earlier in the video so be sure to stay tuned for that and check that out let me know if you have any comments, any questions, if you need me to do any further detailed videos on any of the things that you saw here today, just let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. Thank you. And please be sure to subscribe, like, like I said, and comment below. So let's get into the styling portion of this video. All right, guys, so this is outfit number one. So this is just like a bodysuit and I have this um, kind of like a trench coat. Uh, it doesn't have any buttons actually though, but I feel like this is something I would wear if I was like going to the airport or running some errands. So um, all these looks you'll be seeing the purse and the shoes. Um, so just kind of doing a little combo. And then showing you guys here some different ways of holding it with this bag. I'm looking in the mirror, adjusting myself right now. Um, but just putting it on my shoulder here. So if I'm like running through the airport and I have my luggage in this bag, is probably how I would be wearing this outfit. And so this is the second outfit here. So this is kind of like a really basic like kind of t-shirt dress, but full length. Um, and I got it from Misguided and this leather jacket that I got from Fashion Nova. Um, so just showing you some different ways, obviously, again, of holding this bag. So I kind of like it just in my hand with this one, with this outfit, just because the leather and the leather are so close together. I kind of like to have some separation, just kind of holding it down low in my hand like this. So I think this outfit is super cute. Um, but also just showing you guys what it looks like on my shoulder with the strap. I don't actually love it um, with this outfit um, with the shoulder strap. Um, so probably most likely wear it with my hands with something like this. And it wouldn't be right without a little cameo from the pups. <laughs> um, and then this is the last outfit here. So something a little more casual. Just have this top and jeans that I both got from Zara. And having a little moment here. I can't remember what song I was listening to. Um, but yeah, just some cut out jeans. And I'm um, just holding it. Um, now putting it on my shoulder again just to kind of show you guys i don't really know how i feel about this i think if i get the other straps like how i mentioned earlier in the video it'll probably look a little bit better in this configuration and then i realized i hadn't shown you what it looked like crossbody so i'm just going to show you guys that real quick i kind of like a crossbody with this outfit a little bit better um, than on the shoulder for some reason i don't know maybe i'm just picky um, but yeah guys thanks for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe bye